All right, let's see. Let's make sure I have some sound. Yeah, seems to be working, cool. Let's get started. So this is a partial module invented and um, led and maintained by my awesome colleague Stefan uh, Ivo. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's meant to make uh, the life easier for anyone using Bicep. And Bicep, if you haven't heard about it, is like the new way to write ARM templates for Azure. So I thought we could start with just looking at it. So I've cloned the repo here and um, Bicep is this little executable. So I can just do Bicep and uh, I'll it's not too helpful, but I could do bicep dash dash help, or I could do bicep version. And it basically says that I can do bicep build, or I can use bicep decompile. And bicep build will take a bicep file and compile it into an ARM template. So I think I have some ARM templates. I can do like... Um, So here's uh, an ARM template. It's just bicep build that ARM template and it will output some errors because uh, there is something wrong with this template. And um, if, if it worked, it would have uh, outputted um, the template or updated a file. So let's start by looking at my template. Here we go. I'm missing a, a quote here. So let's go back here, run the same thing again. And we get a warning because this uh, resource type is not, well, Bicep doesn't know what the resource type, but otherwise it worked and uh, it wrote a file somewhere here. So let's just delete this file. Go back in. So what the partial module does is um, you can do, uh, let's just import it first. Ipo source. There you go. So the bicep module has a build bicep uh, command. And that takes a path to a bicep file or a folder. So I can basically just give it the file name of appsetins.json, uh, bicep, and it will do exactly the same as bicep.exe. However, uh, the bicep build module has some uh, advantages. You can do like, uh, install bicep CLI and uninstall bicep CLI to uninstall and install the bicep CLIs. Oh, hi, Brett and Stefan. Thank you. Hi. Um, you can install the CLI, you can uninstall the CLI, you can update the CLI with a module and you can do build bicep with um, output directory and give it another output directory. My templates. And uh, it will do the same thing, but if we go into code, you'll see that I have the my templates folder and the ARM templates gets compiled into here, should be compiled into here. Uh, 
Okay, so that's a bug. Interesting. We have to look into that. Uh, and I can also do um, generate parameter file. And that should have generated a parameter file for my ARM template. But for some reason, it seems like the ARM template isn't getting outputted, which is kind of weird. We probably broke something just recently. All right, so that's perfect. Let's start by fixing that. Um, we have this uh, build bicep. It, um, let's make sure I have all the DLO here. Yeah. So build bicep is the main uh, command. So I need to put the charger into my phone. There we go. And this one should uh, get child all bicep files in my folder, loop through them if uh, not in exclude file. Yeah, I can also, the build bicep can do uh, a folder and then it would do all bicep files and then I can do exclude file and just exclude something. So bicep probably. So then it will use all the, uh, it will uh, compile all the files but that one. Uh, and then we have this parse bicep. It will uh, use a DLL uh, from the actual bicep project to compile the bicep, the bicep file into a, a string. And then uh, if we have the asterisk, it will output. We can try that one just to make sure. Yep. So probably there is a problem in here. That did go well. Uh, parse bicep. Let's try this. So let's put a breakpoint in here. Breakpoint. Come on, good, and let's see if I have a debug launch script. And I think that launches debug.ps1, awesome. And I think I created a debug in here, which will build bicep, perfect. Let's go. Do wrong button step into and let's bring this one down a bit this is not my day come on Okay, my computer don't seem to like me today at all. Let's restart this and see what happens. I also got this message just before I started the stream. I hit yes and somehow it downgraded me from like, I don't know, 720 preview one to seven, 
something went terribly wrong. Not a good idea to update PowerShell five minutes before you start streaming. Mm -hmm. Debug, let's go. Here we go, step in two. Come on. Into parse bicep, here we go. Create some bicep types and get a compilation results. That looks good. So let's step over that one. This one should be a diagnostic result. That's the one we saw looking good. We're going to write diagnostics. That gives us the message. And then success should. Oh no. Write diagnostics returns a false. Let's do this again. Yeah. Hi, Carl Bob. Yeah, right before the stream is the best time to update anything. It's like. I'm going live, I should probably have the latest tools so I don't look like a schmuck. And then I update anything and I end up looking like a schmuck. <laughs> Why can't there should be a breakpoint in here? Okay, let's just step into it then. There we go. Let's see if we can get some more screen state here. Oops. So this is the right bicep diagnostic. It makes things and then it returns. Ah, uh, if this is equal an error, then it returns true. But in here, parse success. It should return false. Yep, makes sense. So let's stop that one. Right, bicep diagnostic. This one. Return not equals error. Oh yeah, that one was this one. Yeah. So just to make sure I'm going to restart the host here so we can try it out. Import module uh, source bicep. And build bicep. There we go. And now we got a file that contains stuff. Awesome. 
we're back again. Um, so I should probably do that on new branch. Let's call it uh, alternative. Here we go. Cool. So I can do the build bicep, I can do generate parameter file, and that will write the output here, and it will also generate an app settings to parameters of JSON, which which is a parameter file that contains all the parameters, all the possible parameters for my template. So I get uh, and also I have another bicep file here. I think this is really messed up and doesn't work. And I have this one that will work. So if I do build bicep, just give it my current path and um, up directory my templates. And that should give it a bunch of output, a lot of errors in the weird module and my template has yeah this is the broken one so that outputs something even though it broke that's also bad let's see so this one should probably return false that would take us here and if that is false, then that is false. So this should probably be just success equals that whole thing I'll have to Reevaluate this again, but let's check this. So, right by the diagnostic, then that should be our success uh, and that, right? Because if we loop several times and it gets false and then it gets true, then it should stay false. Mm. Let's try that. That seems to have stopped at least. Let's remove this whole folder to see what happens. And let's run it again. We created a folder. We still got a valid test, broken main and a valid, all right. So if success isn't true, then we shouldn't write output. Uh, parse bicep, and that should take us back to build bicep.
Here we have the arm template, use of string, parity outputs. Uh, should probably do something like that. This. So if it's not null or white space and a string, else if then we do this. Cool, let's try it again. Yeah, sorry, tired. Uh, we can't just do this. We need to give it something to check, of course. Let's see, here we go. Uh, that and that. Here we go. Build. Okay, warning, and we get an error because this one is not implemented in Bicep, so that is as expected, and. We get the my templates and we get the two templates. We are back, it's working. Whoop. All right, so let's get started with what I was planning. Um, so the thing is, if I do bicep uh, build and do the app settings, this will build the bicep. Uh, and give me this warning. And this warning is from the bicep CLI. So now I'm running bicep.exe. If I do the exact same thing with build bicep, build bicep, come on. Uh, you see, I get the same warning because another of my awesome colleagues, Emmanuel, figured out how to do this and wrote this um, yesterday, I think. Mm. But if I have an error, so let's do uh, main. Yeah. Uh, this looks good. It looks just like uh, bicep. So bicep build main. Actually, it doesn't. Yeah, so this error looks exactly like this error. Perfect. Uh, this one, however, we should probably output all the errors, not just the first one. So let's go back to that loop again. Uh, right diagnostic. No, parse. So this should write all the diagnostics for a whole file. And then it will emit stuff if it works. Let's do a debug and see what happens. So, I wonder if I could just build bicep. 
Probably won't work. Main bicep. And also we need to do force here. I should oops. We should probably do get more drill bicep star I think you can do. Seems to be working. And if I do something that doesn't exist, still seems to be working. Yep. So remove module force that should unload if I have it loaded and then force load it just to make sure I have the right ver version. Let's run this and step in. And step a few times until we get into here. Uh, let's just step over that one. So we have a bunch of diagnostics here and should write them all. This doesn't seem to be executing. What if I do this? Maybe I need a dollar for this to be. Oh yeah, of course. Stupid me. If I have an and uh, and the first one is false, it will never try the second one. That's why. Dash and. That's better. And I probably don't need a dollar. Good. We're getting somewhere. Finally. Let's turn that around. It didn't work. So we need to first write the diagnostic and then add the success, of course. I should know these things. Uh, let's close that one and do just run this. Still not really satisfactory. There we go, getting close. And the compilation result should hold a bunch of keys. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the file, correct. And then for each file we do this. So this one should write an error. <laughs> I don't have the latest version. Oh, come on. Let's make sure change to this in the right place and save 
here we go. And debug. Just run them all. That's good. All right. So now we have something very similar. Let's see if we can do like this. So if I do bicep build and give it the main, I get all these errors. And if I do build bicep main, I get the same errors. However, um, these lines are written with console write error, which means that I can do like this warning. And then I can redirect the warning stream like this, I think it is. And I should have all my warnings in there. Perfect. That's how we like it. However, dollar fails equals this. Whoops. And then take the error stream and redirect that to number one. Doesn't work. So problem number one, we can't redirect the error output. And problem number two, I don't think we can use error action stop. To be honest, I don't have a good idea how to fix this, but I have a theory that we can use write host to write all these messages, and then we can tag them with type of error or warning. And in the end, if they had any errors, we can write an error object to the stream, and that thing we can catch and do a try catch and, uh, and throw on and uh, handle some way. Um, I'm not certain this is the right or even a good way, but I want to try it out. So um, let's see how this looks. Mm. Close that one. Mm. So our parse bicep will basically call diagnostics and give us a diagnostic message and a syntax tree and or diagnostic uh, object. And that will, so that's this uh, diagnostic object and a syntax tree. And this is basically the abstract syntax tree, but for a bicep file. So all this should be as is, and the position uh, should be as is, and that calculates the line level. And then when we get down here, oh, we're actually doing the right host already. Awesome. Uh, so, what I want to do, see if I remember this correctly. So there is this write information commandlet, which takes message data. And I think message data is a, um, write information syntax. It takes an object. I'm quite sure there is a information message. Uh, 
Oh well. Let's ask the old, old knowing Google. Uh, PowerShell. Right information. Um, color maybe. Host information message. That was the one I was looking for. Awesome. So I think we could do like this. And we could do like a message equals hello. And we could do like foreground color equals um, host.ui. There should be an error foreground. There we go. Uh, and we could do background color host.private data. Error background color. Whoops. Right, information, message data, data. information action continue aha uh -huh. so let's take that whatever one two three four minus one or something whoops Let's take that one and say that I want to build my data object here. And the message should be the output string, which is generated over there. And then the foreground color and background color should be set in the switch. Let's do it three times. So let's do this and let's don't do that. Skip that one and skip that one. So this should be information, which means that it's host dot host dot private data dot verbals. So let's just call that. That didn't work. Let's call that verbose. And let's call that warning. And once we're done with the switch, we need to write a 
information, message data, data, information, action, continue. And I'm going to hard code that in to continue because I don't want anyone to be able to not show that. If they want to hide it, they have to redirect it. I also think, yeah, there's a tags tag. So let's not do this. Let's take that one. Oh. Trying to be smart always fails. And let's call that params instead. And do this and do message data equals this whole thing and then we have tag equals format and here should be info error warning I messed up something. That one is open, close. It's better. So we tag it. Sorry, that's a warning and that's an error. Information. At parents or information action continue. Okay, we should probably have another one of those. Let's make sure that one closes there, that one closes there, and that one closes there. There we go. So let's try this. Something didn't work. Ah, the. Let's try this again. So now this is more like the actual bicep. Bicep build main. It's actually identical. However, there are errors and warnings. So what I can do is to do, uh, let's just remove all this. Actually, we should do that here. So what I can do is dollar mm, diagnostics equals that, and I can six and two and one so that will redirect the diagnostic stream or the information stream to the diagnostics variable 
just running that should give me no output at all. And then I should be able to do the diagnostics where tags equal error. And where tags equal error, sorry. And that gives me all the error messages. And then I can do where tags equal warning. And I get all the warning messages. So this way I can run this in like a pipeline or somehow um, run it in an automated fashion and still get a way to programmatically determine how many errors and how, how many warnings I got. Um, and that's compelling. Let's see what's happening on this screen. And um, yeah, I'm not sure, but I think I like this approach. Mm. However, I still want to add error action stop, and that should actually stop the command. So if I do a build by zip and I get an error, I do not want to continue my pipeline at all. That we need to fix. So my idea is that we will do this and we will emit this so here and if we go to parse bicep we have this one so if success then we emit the bicep file but otherwise we should probably write a um, An error message. Fail to come build. And um, path. And we should probably have some kind of category, maybe. Uh, which is a invalid data, invalid input, uh, something invalid result. That's cool. Uh, I wonder if we can do a recommended action. Check for errors in the information stream. Target object should be on a path. One time I ha had a powerful command here somewhere for splatting. That was awesome. But don't have it installed anymore. Here we go. Errors. 
equals this, like that. And write error at error params. Let's try this. And let's try let's try running all of these. Yeah. So now I get all the errors from the first file. And then it says write error and it outputs this thing and says fail to build by subfile that so now erection stop works i get all the warnings i can redirect them and parse them it's not perfect but i think i like it Anyone for or against? And this one should still work. Let's just do that part. Of course. Should probably have a silently continue here and try that again. That's silent, awesome. And we should get all the error messages if we do this. And we can do all the warning messages like we do that. Yeah. I think that's, that's compelling. What time is it? It's 10 past 10. Hmm. So now we're still doing this thing. We could return So an alternative would be to change this one to return this hash table. And then I could do if the tag is error and do that one because if i do that i can gather them all in a variable and give a count and then and then i could merge all the diagnostics messages into my error write error object in the end. Yeah, let's try that. Um, let's start by doing some commits. Let's just make sure that I'm in the right branch. Alternative diagnostics, perfect. So, That one we don't need. What did we change here? That part, awesome. We should add that. And we should also stage these changes. To be honest, let's 
let's remove this. Don't like to leave comments that we don't need. There we go. So let's add that. And then we have the build bicep with the chic there. This is, well, actually a bug fix, but yeah. We'll merge that together also. Uh, and the rest is stuff. Awesome, there's a file called null. Cool. That should be first uh, draft. Now we have somewhere we can go back to if we change our mind later. Let's close all this. Oops. And we probably should have that one open. So let's see how we can do this. Right price up. Yeah, I need to open that one too. So let's remove these and return params. And then we go here. So this one is obsolete, and then we need like mm -hmm. diagnostic params equals We just take this one, so that should return hash tables. Could you bubble up the result with like a success equal? Yeah, exactly, Kevin. Oh, here you mean. Yeah, I'm going to work around that, I think. So I don't think we're going to need this one. Uh, I think we could use this diagnostic results and then recreate diagnostic params like this. And then I want to have some kind of count. So basically, um, if the we should probably do the right information down here, uh, message, sorry, at uh, hmm. So if I do like this, I will write the information, but I also want to collect all the params. 
So I would like to write output dollar params. So we collect them all up here, and then I can do if diagnostic params dot tag equals error. Because this loop will loop through each file, I think. The compilation results will be a hash table with a key for each file, which should only be one anyways. Because then I could put this up here. So if I have any errors, I can just write error and the message should be all my messages combined. So this should be the agnostic params dot something uh, message data message. Joined with environment new line uh, errors yeah let's see if we can do that better um, Yeah, I'm not convinced, but we'll see. Uh, I wonder if this could be, if, if it could contain more than one key. I don't think so, but... Don't really like this either. Um, actually, should probably do this. We don't need this, and so we can set it to true, and then we do this. And if we get any errors, we set it to false, and. If success, we do the whole thing. And then we don't need this one. No, we don't. Did that solve what you were aiming for Kevin or did you talk about something else? Let's try this.
Okay, so we got the error output and we do error action stop. So uh, another idea is to return after the error, then you could skip the use of success. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. So where were we here? If I write an error, I could return, right? And then I don't need this at all. I like that. Thank you. Um, let's see, this should probably still... We'll think more about that in a while. So let's run this. We get all the information output and we get all the this. The only issue is that it stops after. Yeah, but I'm okay with that because I So the thing is, this one will loop several times because diagnostic results will contain several diagnostic objects. But I don't think this count will currently ever be more than one. Um. Unless it's one per, oh yeah, it's one per module. Hmm. Yeah, it is. So if I, if I have a nested module in my bicep, then uh, we will have one key per module. So, but we could move this up here and do the right arrow down here. What if we take this whole thing and just move it down here and we take uh, this part and just move it up here. We still write the information and we write the output and it's going to bubble all the way up here and then here you write an error that way we have the error outside of the loop and we will only have one error let's try this Yep, so we get all the information and then we get the error again. I'm a little bit torn if I should write all this in the error message as well as to the information stream. Or if I just should do like, things went bad, sorry. Because this feels a little bit bloated. Um, 
Let's try this one and just compilation uh, building file path. Did something with error. Can you hear my music by the way? I just realized I probably haven't enabled the desktop output audio in um, OBS, so you probably can't hear my music. No music. All right, I'm sorry. You have to bring your music. <laughs> Uh, building file path. Failed with errors or returned with errors, maybe returned with errors. Um, see information stream for details. So if let's try this instead and do that and just run it all. That is a lot less bloated. I can do error action stop and I will get the error and it will actually stop. I also get all the diagnostic in the right color. And I can redirect the diagnostics like this. Again, there we go. And I should be able to split these into errors and warnings. No, I think there should be music. Is it too loud or too high? Or good? Or should it be silent? Yeah, I think I'm going with uh, this part. And that means we don't need that line. Very 80s. Yeah, it's... Um Harris Heller stream beats um, synthwave. So it's like this uh, huge. Oh, Richard, thank you for following. Uh, yeah, it's um, Harris Heller. He's this uh, YouTuber streamer who made a lot of um, basically stream safe music. So it's called Stream Beats, and you can just. Uh, play it on streams on YouTube without having copyright issues. Kind of cool. And yeah, it might be very 80s, but I'm old, so I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah, I think we're, we're done. This seems to be working. We don't need that. Maybe we should do a custom thingy here, but no. I'm fine with just returning a hash table, for now at least. See here, this whole thing can go away. Uh, 
that one should be added and that one should be added. And that's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, what did we do? We um, we added our object. Streams or whatever, something. Let's get that up to the internet. And it's 1036. Perfect. Almost time for bed. Hmm. So we should find my fork. Create the pull request. What did we do? Uh, let's see. Now I'll put the diagnostic messages to all diagnostic messages. All. Uh, to the in for stream mm. <laughs> ah, awesome stefan is here perfect the maintainer is uh, ready to review perfect and uh, now i'll put outputs all diagnostic messages to the information stream uh, if any errors are outputted um, I should probably add some uh, documentation to this also. If any errors are output, mm, we will write error to support dash error action. Stop. H D diagnostic. Message will be tied with information warning or error to be able to tell them about programmatically or something. Create pull requests. Go, go review and I'll see if we can do something about the documentation while we're at it. Um, it actually says I have 10 people in here. I think that's a new personal record. You're awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, this makes it so much more fun when you can get some feedback to what you're doing as you're like going along and thinking. All right, so docs, build by Seth. I think we could put uh, 
Bicep will be out with will be written to the information stream. To save output in a variable use stream direction, I think it's called. for C example hmm I'm uncertain should I have example code in the description probably not hello I want to read say example 7 because someday someone is going to change that uh, There we go, example seven. And so diagnostic or um diagnostic messages from from bicep in a variable let's not touch that Let's just do six, two, and one. Uh, messages are tagged. I'm lazy. Where's my debug? Sorted, maybe. Source all up all uh, errors and warnings from bicep in. Um, I wonder if I can do like this or if Vladivus will be angry. So or so stores all errors and warnings from bicep in variable diagnostics. Then up it's first all error errors, then all warnings. Let's try this. I wonder if I have a get module play piece uh, list available. I do. <laughs> I don't remember how you to use it. <laughs> 
Um, so I think it's new external help. Path should probably be the path to the folder, I assume. And let's just call it uh, source. See what happens. So we outputted a new bicep external. I didn't want it there. I wanted it here. There we go. And then we do the whole import stuff again. Let's try this. Uh, can you verify if the memory parameter file works as expected? Yeah, sure, I could. Um, let's not write that one. So it has arrows. Let's take this one and F8. Let's delete that one to be sure, and delete that one to be sure, and run that again. Yeah, I think it's working as expected. Did you have any problems with it? Get help, uh, build bicep full. We need hard line breaks here and sample seven compiler by zip file. Yeah, it seems to be working. Cool. Let's minimize that. Go back here. Do that, build the whole thing again. Hmm. And let's run that. This one looks good. Mm, I get an error, but it might be the bias if I'm testing with that issue. It doesn't debug it. Yeah, if you're using the DLLs from the main branch, those are a bit messed up at the, at the moment, I think. So make sure you use the DLLs from the tag. Where are we? Description, description, description. There we go. Maybe some spaces here too. What do you think? That's 
preview this. I don't remember. Preview. Control Shift D maybe. That generates re. Yeah, that's good enough. Oops. <laughs> it is something. Where were we? Uh, there. So that seems to be working. Let's rebuild this. Let's do some importing. Here we go. And then help. Yeah, I like how that looks. So Update to uh, help. Something like that. And we have these files. Um, Guess we have to rebuild them another time. There we go. That is it for tonight. Good status. And uh, push. All right, thank you everyone for uh, coding with me. I had a blast, I hope you liked it too. And hopefully I'll see you soon again. Take care and good night.